Today we're gonna read a boy called B Chapter 14, Sweeping Arrangements. I want to sleep on the couch next to the floor. Nobody will need to sleep in your boot on bed, said Mom. Then I want food to sleep in bed with me. You can't sleep with a skunk bat if you roll over in the night and crush them. I would never do that, Brad said. He would never, he would, he would, I would never do that, Bat said. He never would. Bat, honey, the skunk. Four, interrupted Bat. His name is Four. Mama, hello, Forehead. Fine, she said. Four. Four can't sleep in your bed. Four and tired animals. My animals don't sleep in bed. But in the wild, four won't sleep alone. But argued, he would have sleep in a pile with all his brothers and sisters. Hmm. All cuddled up. I'm glad people don't sleep like skunks, Danny said. His hair was stumped from the shower. And she was wearing her favorite pajamas. And of all the unicorns, each unicorn was doing something different. One walked out of her guitar. Another was reading a book. Another wore a chef's hat that was flipping eggs in a pan. The only thing they had in common was that they're all unicorns. Saini, did you know that a herd of unicorns is called a blessing? But asked, yes, but of course I knew that. Every time I wear these pajamas, you tell me that. I didn't know if you remembered, but said. You're not the only one who remembers things, but said Danny. Then she stomped off to her room. But turn to Mom, please, he begged. No, said Mom. In her firm voice. But Bat knew Mom's firm voice. Sometimes if he pushed hard enough, he could change it into his soft voice. That one would let him have his way. I could be the one to feed him, and you could sleep all night. Bat said, I know how to do it. Who do you think took care of you when you were a baby and had to eat every two hours, Bat? Mom asked. I took care of you and, and Danny. I took care of one. I can't take care of one little skunk. If you let me help, Bat said, Borgini now. I promise to scrape all the other food off my plate now on and put it in the dishwasher after dinner. Mom smiled. I thought it was too gross to look at the leftover food stuck to a poist. It is too gross, Bad said, but I'll do it anyway. Even if it made him gag, even if it made him throw up, besides, Bad said, I helped Four go to the bathroom after he finished eating. If I can do that, I can do other ghost things. Mom had taught Bat that baby skunks didn't know how to go to the bathroom on their own when they are little babies. And if they don't pee and poop, they can die. In nature, their mother would help them learn. But since Thor was an orphan, every time he drank his flower, someone had to hold it up and rub his bottom with a wet cotton saw until he pooped and peed. At school, Bat had been helping the who clean up baby cakes and culture for a while now, and poop and pee were put or just put of having an animal. I'll tell you what, little Bat, Mom said, and her voice was softer now. Four has to sleep in his enclosure. And I'm going to take care of him during the night. 
but you can be in charge of the daytime feedings when we are at home, and tomorrow after the school, instead of staying home with Lainey, how about you come by the clinic? I'm going away and miss it for to make sure it's getting enough to eat. And you can help. Okay, sit back for now. When four gets bigger, big enough that I can't squish him in bed. Let's revisit this conversation. That must have been mom said when she wanted Bad to know that they weren't done talking about something. And Bad wanted mom to know oh, that he wasn't giving up on sleeping before. Mama acted like life a hard bargain, she said. And I don't think I'm going to forget about the dishes. Bye, everybody. I want to read with me. Subscribe to my channel. Hashtag bunny.